what's up y'all it's your boy rome good good promo we back what's checking out it is what it is that's cameron and mace their sports show um, with all the hype going on around the jake paul and mike tyson fight the topic of conversation kind of got on like celebrity boxing exhibition fights you know like jake paul fighting basketball players and stuff like that lamar odom having boxing matches and stuff like that Cameron talked about a time where he wanted to fight professional boxer Bernard Hopkins. And I thought Cameron was just joking around, BSing around. If you ever seen the show, they joke about a lot of stuff, but he seemed to be serious. He even talked about a son that he named after Bernard Hopkins called Humphrey. Cameron said the reason the son is called Humphrey because that's Bernard Hopkins middle name, which I had to do my research. That's Bernard Hopkins middle name. And uh, I'm going to let Cameron tell the story. And after that, we'll play the little snippet of the song, the intro of the song. That's really the only part where he acknowledging Bernard Hopkins on this song. But check this out. And this is a real story. I really was trying to fight Bernard Hopkins like 10 years ago. And I went to one of his fights. <laughs> you know, I'm, then I got a song. It's a song called... It's a song called Humphrey. I did this. If you want to Google it, whenever you people out there get a chance, Google the song Humphrey. I named it Humphrey because that's Bernard Hopkins' middle name. His middle name is Humphrey. So always try to doubt a nigga, right? I ain't never really lost no Dame said I'm buggy because I want to fight b -hop. I said I fucked him up after two months of detox. Besides that, eight mil from Reebok. I take him to the bar park. That's 33 shots. He's telling me I need not. He must not remember young killer that hustled in his weed. And I was saying I want to fight him because I went to one of his fights. And it was empty. And I'm like, damn, B-Hop can't go out like this. And I was in real good shape at the time. And I was like, yo, I'll fight B-Hop right now. And I was saying, Siri, I, I did the song dissing him to bait him in. He actually's like, hey, I'll fight you. But his handle is like, nah, you bugging. But now all this shit going on. See, I, we could have been the first niggas. <laughs> we could have been. You ahead of your time. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All this goofy <laughs> shit going on. I talk about Mike and Jake, but it's wild goofy shit going on. Fucking Lamar Odom out there having fights <laughs> with pastors. It's all type of shit going on. I see Lamar Odom out of fighting the Lakers shorts. He had the Lakers shorts sagging. And they wasn't even the Lakers shorts. They was the Olaf's. The Olaf Lakers joints sagging. I'm like, yo, this shit getting goofy, B. But I said, I could, we could have been the first. But what I was going to say is my strategy was I'm going to just jab, but no, I was going to do eight rounds. I said, I'm going to jab him for seven and a half rounds, B. Just jabbed in there. Because you got to realize, Bernard Hopkins, he hadn't knocked nobody out in his last 10 fights. I'm like, he's just a gritty fighter. He's a nigga. Bernard Hopkins, you know how much of a boxer he is? He walks around with a tennis ball like this all day, just chilling to keep his chin down. Mm -hmm. When I'm talking about just on a regular day, when nothing's going on, he goes to restaurants like this with tennis ball pours in. So he practices not getting hit in the chin. And I'm like, Dame, Dame Dash was telling me, Kim, you're bugging. I know him personally. He's, he's not just like that. In the ring, he liked that in the streets. I said, I'm like that in the streets. <laughs> so I was my plan to bring this back to this full speed. My plan was to jab and run for seven and a half rounds. I'm like, I'm gonna jab the nigga. I'm gonna just jab the nigga. Woo! And then the last 20 seconds get it on like I did something. <laughs> I was gonna win. Cause he would have been so mad trying to knock me out. And I wouldn't have let him knock me out. I would have been doing all type of woo woo woo. The crowd would have been born as long as I'm racking the points up. <laughs> I don't care. I'm on Floyd Mayweather time. Listen, I'm here getting points. I don't care. And if I win the fight, I win the fight. That was my plan. So, yeah, Cam, he wanted to fight Bernard Hopkins, man. I'm kind of glad they ain't let that go down, man. Bernard Hopkins, he retired in 2016. 55 wins, eight losses. 32 of those wins with knockouts. Cam, I don't know. I don't know what you was thinking, man. That might have ended up bad for you. You know, I'm a big Cameron fan, but I'm glad it didn't go down like that. I thought that was interesting. It was funny, you know what I'm saying? And then actually hearing the song, looking up the song, Humphrey. It's on it's on YouTube. It's a song I never heard before. It got like some little sketchy uh artwork for the song but check it out it's on youtube i just want to bring that y'all away if y'all didn't catch it on it is what it is um shout out to my subscribers the old ones the new ones i appreciate y'all 
I'm going to have a video coming real soon. It's your boy, Rome Good. I'm on y'all next time. Peace.